I'm gay. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of my life. <laughs> you missed that? I missed it too. What is with this lighting? Everything's very bright. So I'm currently on my way to work, which is something new and original, which I never, never do. Ever. So I haven't posted videos on this channel in like five years. How you guys doing? How you been? Let me know. And mostly that's because I've been busy. I have a life. And YouTube doesn't pay me. So I kind of have to work for a living. And everything's going great. Baby, I'll let you Well, since my last video update, uh, everything's going great with modeling, everything's going great with photography. I'm actually working on a photo series right now. I ran out of space on my phone and I don't have another camera because I don't have money. And, ooh, a turkey. My niece is taking up all of my data space. Like, that's, that's it. Like, my phone is full of pictures of my niece and my dog and that's it. That's my daughter. I don't care what anyone says. She's starting to look like me too, which is kind of weird. So I basically gave birth to her. That's how it works. And I know any of you guys like questioning like my love life and shit. Um, right now I'm able to have a relationship right now. Like I, like I, if I want to, then I can. But like emotionally, I know I'm not there yet because I'm not uh, emotionally committed to someone. I don't feel like I want to be right now. I don't want anything to do with guys either. Like nothing even sexual. I just don't care for guys anymore, and I don't really care about being with someone or like finding love because I had this really great night with two of my close friends and we went to Asbury Pride and it was fun. I had a really great time and it wasn't about me finding a boyfriend or finding someone to be with me. It was one of the first nights in a while where I wasn't actually thinking about my ex either so it's just like it was great. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just having fun and I was just like I want to feel like this all the time. So I really just don't care for guys or anything like that right now and I'm okay with that I'm really great with that then emotionally I don't downgrade <laughs> and what I mean by that is just like I won't settle for someone who makes me feel less than how I felt with the last person I was with right now it's a very high standard so until I meet that special person I'm good I'm good right now I'm doing me I hang out with my baby I do work and that's that's my life because here's my thing just like and this is for everybody that I tell everybody all the time never settle just don't do it. Just don't settle for less than what you feel like you deserve or what you think you deserve because honestly, it's not worth it. It's not. You're just gonna be with someone who makes you feel good for not being alone and then you're gonna feel terrible. I'm with this person and I'm stuck with them. It's not worth it. Like don't settle for less than what you think you deserve. Have realistic standards as well too because I know a lot of people are just like chasing after these Instagram models. Here's the thing with like anyone, with celebrities, Instagram people, Anyone you see, you don't know them. I don't care if they post videos about their life or all this other shit, because like people will like comment on stuff and like act like they like really know me, act like they know everything about me. I like I share things with you guys, yeah, but I there's more to me than just this channel, my YouTube channel. Like it's just me, and that's one thing people have to realize. Like they, you have to separate reality from what you see. What you see isn't reality. Like everyone has three faces they show everybody. I think this is like something Asian. But um, there's the face you show the world, the face you show your friends and your family, like your vulnerability, just like you're more comfortable being yourself. And then there's the face that you show yourself, that your true self, your truest self. Uh, we're all strangers to each other until we like let each other in each other's lives, but real realistically, it's not a thing. I remember I made like a comment on just like a date I had, and someone made a comment on it, just like, oh my god, things never work out for you. Oh my god, just like, why? You need blah, blah, blah. You need someone to set you. I'm just like, I don't need shit. That's one. And two, who are you? I will post things about my dating life. Just, all right, cool. Because it's something that is relatable. Something I can talk about with you guys. Something that everyone does. Everyone dates. But I do not tell like every single detail of what goes on and what happens. Because a lot of the time I'll go on a date and I'm just emotionally not there. Like I don't feel it. Like I'm just not feeling it. And I'd rather just be friends with that person or I'm just, and I'm just not interested. That's most of the time. And I think this is sweet. And when people are just like, oh my God, I have a crush on you. Oh my God, you're really nice. I think you're really sweet and all this other stuff. And it's like, all right, crushes are normal. They're natural. You sometimes just like people because you like the idea of being with them. You're infatuated with this 
false reality, uh, an idea that you guys can be together and all this other stuff. But you also have to remember that it's a crush. It's just a small infatuation. It's not real. Because the thing is, when people say they have a crush on me, they don't really know me. <laughs> they don't. And I don't know them. Realistically, the odds of a crush actually wanting to see things further, especially if you're on a social media platform, is rare. And it's honestly a waste of time, guys. So don't chase after anyone on like Instagram or YouTube or anything because it's not gonna work. Like you'll probably in the back of your mind thinking just like, I could be the one guy. I could be the guy who gets him. It could be me. And I'm just like, no, boo boo, it's not. Personally, I will never date. I have no desire to date a follower or a subscriber or anything like that because it's just, it's odd because you that person has all these expectations of who they think I am and they don't really know me and they, they're just gonna keep relying on those expectations to try to get to know me when that's not real. I'd rather just meet someone organically, naturally, and on my own. Like someone with no, I, no sense of identity of who I am and I, I, that, that seems to work better for me. <laughs> hey guys, that's it for my day. That was just a little taste, a little sample of me coming back to the YouTubes. I missed you guys. And if you guys leave a comment below, on how you guys doing and I missed your faces and also who's someone that you have a crush on that you just you shouldn't you know you shouldn't you, you, you shouldn't anyway I'll see you guys later stay awesome 